the NRC Adams Licensing Support Network Library How-To Video Series, Introduction. Welcome to the NRC's How-To Video Series on using the Licensing Support Network Library, called the LSN Library. The library is affiliated with the agency's Adams Official Record Keeping System. Available to the public, it has nearly 3.7 million documents related to the Department of Energy's application to construct a high-level nuclear waste geologic repository at Yucca Mountain, Nevada. The LSN library is significant for three reasons. First, it meets federal records requirements and the NRC's commitment to being an open and transparent regulator. Second, should an adjudicatory hearing resume on Yucca Mountain, it could provide public access to previously disclosed discovery materials. Third, if a hearing doesn't resume, the library will provide an important source of technical information for any future high-level waste proceeding. The LSN library is powered by IBM's advanced Watson-based search engine, a one-stop search capability for technical information. You can access the LSN library webpage through the NRC's website at www.nrc.gov. Hover your mouse over the NRC Library tab in the upper right corner of the screen. When the drop-down screen displays, click on LSN Library. This will take you to the LSN Library's main page, which contains informational and instructional aids on the LSN Library. You can begin your search by clicking on the Begin LSN Library search link. An LSN Library announcement page will appear. This page will contain messages about training opportunities, system maintenance activities, and other general information. Click the Continue to LSN Library button to access the library search page. There are three functional areas on the LSN Library page that help you search for records, refine a search, and work with your results. The top search bar allows you to enter basic and advanced search criteria to locate records of interest. You will always start a search here. To refine your search, there are three outside sections called the Facet Tree, the Time Series Chart, and the Facet Chart, where you can limit a search by specific categories, including authors, organizations, and date ranges. The center section displays your results and provides options for viewing, saving, and printing them. The NRC has developed a series of brief tutorial videos about how to work in each of these three areas. These videos can be watched on the NRC YouTube channel or through the LSN Library web page. The NRC Adams Licensing Support Network Library How-To Video Series, accessing the LSN Library search page. To navigate to the LSN Library search page, go to the NRC's main web page at www.nrc.gov. Hover your mouse over the NRC Library tab in the upper right corner of the screen. When the drop-down screen displays, click on LSN Library. This will take you to the LSN Library's main page, which contains informational and instructional aids. To access the LSN Library search portal, click on the link labeled Begin LSN Library Search. An LSN Library announcement page will appear. This page will contain messages about training opportunities, system maintenance activities, and other general information. Click the Continue to LSN Library button to access the library search page. The NRC Adams Licensing Support Network Library How-To Video Series, Finding a Record by the LSN Accession Number. The most direct way to locate an individual record is with its LSN Accession Number, which is a unique LSN Library document address. These addresses are often found when the document is cited in another record or a bibliography. The accession number DN2001673244 is entered into the box in the upper right corner labeled Enter LSN Accession Number. In the results section, the search engine will display the record's title, date, and a brief description of its contents. To open the record, click on the title or PDF symbol. When the pop-up window appears, click the Open button to view a PDF version of the document. If you don't have an accession number, 
you can locate records using the LSN Library search capabilities. Consult other tutorial videos on the LSN Library main page to learn more. The NRC Adams Licensing Support Network Library How-To Video Series Performing a Simple Content Search with Search Terms There are several simple content searches that will locate relevant documents by scanning the text of all 3.7 million records in the LSN Library. For example, to search for records related to the desert tortoise, a threatened species near Yucca Mountain, select the box labeled Specify Search Terms and type in Desert Tortoise. As the word desert is typed in, the computer displays dynamic search options such as desert tortoise, desert rock, and desert soils, as well as the estimated number of records that the search will find. This helps you choose the best search words. When you finish typing in desert tortoise, activate the search by clicking on the magnifying glass icon. The search returned over 11,000 records, which includes all records that contain both words somewhere in their text. The results section highlights the search terms you used. If you insert the word OR in caps between desert tortoise, the search expands to include records that have either word in them, which produces many more results. Putting quotation marks around desert tortoise limits the results to only those records where the words appear right next to each other. Finally, a search can exclude records containing certain words by using a minus sign. For example, you can exclude from the desert tortoise search any document that mentions the Nuclear Regulatory Commission by typing desert tortoise space minus NRC. Having completed several searches, you can switch between them with the forward and back buttons in the upper left corner. The NRC Adams Licensing Support Network Library How-To Video Series Advanced Search Using Search Terms, Dates, and Record Properties The Advanced Search tab can help you narrow results by combining search terms, dates, and record properties. Click on the Show Advanced tab to pull down the Advanced Search window. The top four boxes allow you to search with terms in different ways. If you enter Desert Tortoise into the All of These Words field and activate the search by clicking on the magnifying glass, the LSN library finds records with both desert and tortoise in them, over 11,000 records. Putting Desert Tortoise into the Any of These Words field will locate records that contain either desert or tortoise in them, a much larger group of documents. Putting Desert Tortoise into the Exact Phrase field narrows the results to those where Desert Tortoise appear right next to each other. The last of the top four boxes labeled None of These Words excludes words from the search. For example, you could exclude from the Desert Tortoise search records that mention the Nuclear Regulatory Commission by adding NRC. You can limit results by adding a date range in the Start Date and End Date fields. For example, adding a start date of January 1, 1997 and an end date of June 30, 1997 reduces your results a lot. Dates can also be entered by using the pull-down calendars. The field query narrows a search by taking advantage of what are called a record's properties. When each record was added to the LSN library, properties such as the author affiliation, author name, document type, information source, and title were added into separate fields. So you can limit a search for desert tortoise records to those produced by just one author. Select author name under the field query window and type in a name. This reduces the original results to just those written by this expert, Danny Rakestraw. Similarly, a title search will limit your results to just those where search words appear in the record's title. Under the Field Query pull-down menu, select Title and type in Desert Tortoise. This search reduced your original 11,000 results substantially. The NRC Adams Licensing Support Network Library How-To Video Series Saving Search Criteria for Future Use
After you have completed a search, you may want to save the search terms you use to work with them in the future. Click on the Save button. A saved search window will display. Enter a file name to identify the search and click the OK button. A window will display at the bottom of the screen. Click on the arrow next to the Save button and select Save As. The next window will ask you to select an existing folder or create a new one. Select the desired folder, then click Save. To perform the saved search at a later date, return to the LSN Library search page and click on the Load button. In the pop-up window, select the folder where you saved the search. Select the file and click Open. The file will execute the same search you did before. The NRC Adams Licensing Support Network Library How-To Video Series – Wildcard Searches The LSN Library has search capabilities called wildcards that can help you locate records with misspellings and abbreviations. For example, let's look for documents that have the word tortoise misspelled. Type desert, T-O-R-T, question mark, S-E, in the search field and click on the search button. All documents with the misspelled word tortoise will be displayed. Abbreviations can be found the same way. To look for documents in which the word mountain in Yucca Mountain is abbreviated, type in Yucca M question mark N and click the search button. Documents with the abbreviation MTN will be displayed. You can also search for similarly spelled words with the use of an asterisk. For example, C-A-L-C-U-L-A-T asterisk will produce results for words such as calculate, calculated, calculations, and calculating. The NRC Adams Licensing Support Network Library How-To Video Series Using the Facet Tree and Facet Chart The Facet Tree and Facet Chart can narrow a search by identifying the most common document properties called facets by the Watson search engine. Properties include the addressee name, author affiliation, document type, and author name. Clicking on the arrows next to each facet will display the most common results. For example, you can find the most common authors of records on the desert tortoise, a threatened species near Yucca Mountain, and then limit your search to just those individuals. The facet tree will display about 15 of the most common names or terms but you can look at all the authors on the Desert Tortoise by selecting the More Facets link. A pop-up facet window will display all the authors. You can scroll through them or search for a specific name by typing it in the filter box. The facet tree will also help you identify variations in the way the same name was entered into the LSN library system from different sources. For example, an author might have been added by last name and first initial, as scientific publications do, or their full name may have been added. You can look at all of them by selecting the box next to each name and clicking on the Specify Search Terms button. The facet chart on the right performs a similar function as the facet tree, but displays its result as a bar chart. If you select the author name facet and hover the mouse over an entry, it will display the number of results for that name. Clicking on the name immediately displays the results. If you are not using the facet tree, facet chart, or time series chart, you can collapse these sections by clicking on the small arrows highlighted on the screen. The NRC Adams Licensing Support Network Library How-To Video Series Using the Time Series Chart The time series chart at the bottom of the search page allows you to limit your results to a date range. For example, hovering the mouse over the bar for 1997 displays the number of records for that year. Select 1997 by clicking on the bar and then the magnifying glass icon on the left side. You can further narrow your search by choosing a particular month within 1997. The time series chart also allows you to select a range of years. For example, click on 1997, hold down the shift key, and then click on 1999. This will limit the results to just those three years. 
the NRC Adams Licensing Support Network Library How-To Video Series, Viewing the Results and Document Properties. Search results can be viewed in the center section of the LSN Library page. They are sorted by relevance, but may be sorted in other ways, including date, document type, and title. 25 results are displayed per page, but can be adjusted to 10, 50, or 100 results. To open a record in its PDF format, click the PDF icon or the document title, and then the Open button that appears at the bottom of the screen. The document will be displayed in PDF format. To view the document in text format, click the green icon to the left of the PDF icon. You can also view a record's properties by clicking on the button that appears in the upper left corner. Record properties appear below the contents description, which include the author name, addressee, affiliations, information source, date, and others. Properties can be used to search for similar records in the Advanced Search Sections field query. For more information, see the video on Advanced Searches. The NRC Adams Licensing Support Network Library How-To Video Series, Saving and Printing the Results. To save a copy of a record to your computer, select it from the results section and right-click while hovering over the selected document. Several options are displayed. Click the Download option. A window will appear at the bottom of the screen. Click on the downward pointing arrow next to the Save button and select Save As. A window will open that allows you to select an existing folder or create a new one. Select the desired folder, then click Save to save the record. To print a document, first open it by clicking on the PDF symbol or title. Click Open and then click on the Print button. Follow the prompts for your printing software. For more help, Call the NRC Public Document Room staff at 301-415-4737 between 8 a.m. and 4 p.m. Eastern Time, or email them at pdr.resource at nrc.gov.